Welcome back to the channel folks. Today we're looking at this spaghetti bolognese from Sainsbury's for 85p. 85p! Stomper Street Co. Spaghetti Bolognese. Let's take a closer look. And there we have it. Sainsbury's Stomford Street Co. Spaghetti Bolognese. The first thing we're going to look at is the little trifling system on the front. Fat, 6.5 grams of which saturated, 2.9, sugars, 9.4, salt, 1.44 grams. Nutrition. So I hold that still for you for your nutrition there. If you want to look at that and tell me what you think. Much protein we've got. We've got 21.2 grams of protein in this. Uh, carbohydrates per pack, 52 grams. Of which the sugar is 9.4. And there we have the ingredients. Uh, let me see what beef, 12% beef we've got in this. Okay, I'll hold that still and you can tell me what you think of this. Anything that you don't like to look off in the ingredients list. Allergy advice for allergens including cereals contain gluten. See ingredients in bold. And there you go, all the ones in bold. Safety. The tray may soften on heating but will regain strength on standing. Although every care has been taken to remove bones, some may remain. What else have we got? Yes, the cooking instructions, that's what we want to see. So there at the top you can see it's a 400 gram meal. And oven cook, if you want to oven cook this, and a final system oven which we've got will be 45 minutes. So that's far too long to wait for an 85p meal. So we're going for the microwave option. Microwave from frozen but can also be oven cooked, right? So 800 watt there and 900 watt it has the bottom. 9 minutes 30 seconds, 300 watt. 8 minutes 30 seconds for 900 watt, but we have a 700 watt, so we'll have to put that on slightly longer. So I think we'll put it on for like We'll put it on for maybe 10 and a half minutes, something like that. Remove outer packaging and pierce film. Place on a non metallic plate, cook for five minutes, peel back film, stir, recover, and continue cooking. Stir thoroughly, check food is piping hot, allow to stand for one minute. Do not reheat once cooled. All cooking appliances may vary. This is only a guide. Anything else of any interest to us? Just tell us about how to freeze it, but. We all know how to do the likes of that. And just recycle in there, you can recycle the carton, recycle the tray, but you can't recycle the film. One pack counts as one of your five a day. Aim for at least five different portions of fruit or veg a day. Fresh, frozen, dried, canned, and just all count. What do you think of that? What do you think of that statement? Okay. Once again, I forgot to turn off autofocus. Oh, I'll definitely have to remember to do that for the next video. That is, if you can even do that, I'm assuming you can turn off autofocus, but we'll find out soon enough. Let's get a look at the product itself. So there we go, there's our little 400 gram meal in a little tray. Can't really see much there now, but we'll pierce this. We'll get it in for the first five minutes. And um, we'll stop and stir. That's the first five minutes in the microwave. So it suggests a stir, but it's still really frozen. Let's see if we can bring it up a wee bit. Sort of frozen in the middle, but we'll do the best we can. Quick stir, we'll get it back in. I think we'll put it in for six minutes this time. And that should cover the, the might have been a little bit under powered. There we go, that's grand. It smells, it smells good. Okay, in for six more minutes. And I think that should do it. We'll give it a good mix up and then we'll put it onto the plate so you can get a good look at it, what we're working with here. This little 85p meal. And get as much of it as we can out. Once again, get our money's worth. And there we have it. First impressions, what do you think? Well, I can tell you it smells good. And it is a 
decent amount of food. So we'll get stuck straight in here and just get a good fork full of food and trap. Mmm! My plate is getting hot, so I'm going to hold it like this. That is, um, that's good. I'm trying to do this as elegant as possible so I'm not getting tomato all over my face. Mmm! That spaghetti is cooked to perfection. Mmm-hmm! Tomato sauce. Full of a lot of flavour. Mmm! I was expecting to be a bit bland, you know. And um, because of the cheap price, but no, that's it's marvellous. Mmm! That's a tasty little meal. A little bit of carrot. Mmm! Everything's diced up so small, I can't even really show you the veg in it, but I'll try and give you a closer look of everything. There's like little bits of onion there, well, uh, whatever. So everything's diced up really small, like you know, it's maybe going to be hard for you to see, but yeah, you've got carrot, you've got onion, you've got mushroom, all diced up nice and fine. Um, what more can I say about this? It's, it's tasty. The spaghetti is cooked perfect. Sauce has a nice, you know, rich flavour for something at 85p. You know, it's 85p. You know, I'm not expecting a home cooked Italian meal for that, but it's 85p, so. Mmm. I definitely buy this again. Can't stop eating. So, a couple more spoonfuls. There's a good spoonful, or forkful, sorry. If meat, skeddy, onion, all sorts of stuff through that. Mmm. Very good. Very good for 85p. Mmm. Yep, nothing wrong with that. There's a smashing little bit for 85p. I'll Definitely get some more of them, get them stocked up in the freezer, bring them to work. And um, yeah, what more can I say? It's, it's good value for money. It tastes good. What more do you want? If it tastes good and it's good value for money, get them stocked up in your freezer, folks. Yeah, so scoring system, would I buy it again? Yes, definitely. I'm going to get more of these. I'm going to stock them up in there and I sell, bring them to work with me. Um, because of the value of money for that and the price, and because the price is so good, I have to give this a decent score. You know, I'm going to give that 7.8. 7.8 just because it's simple. It's not a, like, you know, it is what it is. Spaghetti and meat and some diced stuff veg to it, but it's because it's so cheap and tasty. Mamma mia! I am going to devour this. Let me know what you think. Have a look at the ingredients. Tell me if there's bad stuff in there that shouldn't be in there or stuff you would avoid. Comment below. I enjoy reading the comments. I read all the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.